Hello, and welcome to the 29th episode of the But I'm Knitting podcast. My name is Ramona. I'm a knitter from Toronto, and welcome from my corner. Welcome to my corner of the crafting world. Um, this week, let's see, I got some knitting to show you. No FOs. I didn't cast on anything new. I didn't acquire anything new other than, no, no, I was last week, told you about the pattern that I got last week, which is pretty much it. So, I guess the other thing I talk about is plans, up, upcoming plans. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, uh, I guess I'll show you my sock. Um, this is the Gilded Socks. Um, the yarn is from the Cozy Knitter on her Bliss Space. And the colorway is called Guild. It was a special dye order for the Toronto Knitters Guild from last year. No, from earlier on this year. So where you see the little macaroon, that's where I was last time I showed it to you. And I had time today, so I made it all the way up to here. I think up from about the the gray up until the, this part up here. That's how much I've done for the day. Um, I'm using uh, Haya Haya Sharps, I believe, uh, nine inch circulars. I'm gonna be honest. As much as I find them, I guess convenient, I still don't really like using these this, this that much. I think I prefer either magic looping or using DPNs when I'm doing socks. Just my preference, but I guess it changes from week to week and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's one project. Um, the other project that I have is my Speckle and Pop shawl, which is making wonderful pro progress. I can almost show it to you full size, but my needles still are not big enough. So I am still in clue three. There are finished pictures of the, of the, of, uh, the pattern online already. Because I think it was supposed to finish, well, most people finished it for me last week and thereabouts. Uh, hold on, hold it. Oh, nearly had a little heart attack there. Thought I dropped my stitches. So, last time you had seen it, I was, hold on, where is it? I was right here where the cat's trying to, no, it's an owl. I was right where that owl is, right there. And it's made it all the way up to here. It doesn't look like that much, but when you realize the point that there are 800 something odd stitches on my needles, it's quite a bit. So here it is so far, if you can get to see it, and it's, it's scrunched up entirety. It's coming along very nicely. I'm very pleased with it. Sorry. So I'm looking forward to working on this and, and doing more. Um, like it literally took me, I think I did a, a one row last week not last week, last night, and it took me about an hour and a half. Mind you, I was talking with my friend at the same time, but it's a lot of stitches to deal with at one time. Um, so I got a few more pattern repeats for row three, for, sorry, for clue three, and then I move on to clue number, um, clue number four, which something tells me might be a little bit faster than doing this one, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah, we'll leave it at um, the needles that I'm using for these ones, these are Knit Pros. No, not... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. It's not Knit Picks. I think they're Knit Pros. I can't remember. Um, uh, I'm using uh, 4 US for these ones. They're just uh, regular wooden ones. I've got them in a pretty green. So, it's coming along nicely. I hope to have a little bit more done. Um... That's actually it for my current works in progress. Um, but while I was uh, sitting with my grandfather today, he turned to me while listening to his little audio cassette player and he asked me to make him a sweater. Um, my grandfather's not one who really asked me much for knit stuff, so I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do it. Um, lucky for me, he's not a very big man. Um, he's I asked him what color and what kind of style he wanted. He said he wanted like a white or a cream. That's a cardigan. Now, I did find a pattern that I like. And I cannot remember the name of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would use my iPad, but I'm currently recording on that. Just one moment. Because I did put it in my queue. Just waiting for this to load up. Probably. Uh -huh. So I'll probably get the pattern very soon. 
and get started on it. The Elwood. That's the name of the song. From the Little Old Man Collection. So, the name of the pattern is called the Elwood. I can't put up pictures of it. I, I can try and show it to you on my phone. From the Little Man Collection. But, uh, she has sizes that go from baby all the way up to an adult. So, let's see if, if you can see that. That's the sword. That's the back of it. So, I think that would be perfect for him. I'm just going to do it in a solid color. I'm not going to stripe it. But, I saw the other... The uh, other ones that are in that pattern, the other sweaters in that, sorry, not that pattern, in that collection. And I'm I'm seriously contemplating just getting the entire collection because I like it a lot. Like, there's one called, no, it wasn't the Gus, although that one is nice. Um, hold on. It was the Callaway. I love that one. So, hold on. If you can see. I don't know if it can focus any better than that, but that's that's what it looks like, roughly. So it's got little uh, cables going all the way across it. I think that looks very nice, but that's too much work to put into one sweater when I can barely finish the sweater as it is. So right now, maybe I'll do it as a kid's sweater for later on. So those are my current works in progress. That also deals with what I will be making next time. Um, so hold on. I'm going to be making an order with Knit Picks very soon so I can get the yarn for that. Um, I found out that if you spend $75 or more, it's absolutely free shipping for Canada, so that's a good thing. Um, but the thing is, right now, there's not much on there that I want for, for that amount of money. Um, so we'll have to see. I may just go with the, I guess I'll just work out to see which one works out being a better value for what I, for what I want. Um, so I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. No, knitting-wise, I'm pretty certain that is it. I'm going to keep this at a very, very short episode. Um, mostly due to the fact that I just got home from, uh, from an ordeal today and I'm tired, so I'm going to be going home. I'm going to, I'm already at home. I am going to go to sleep and take like about an hour nap or so before I get up and uh, continue working on my shawl. So that is it for today. Thank you for spending your knitting time with me all seven minutes and change of it. And I hope to see you again next week. All right. Bye.